Welcome to tonight's nighttime prayer. As we steady ourselves tonight and we think about all the things that have gone on during the day, we have a time now just to put them all to God and have a time of quietness and stillness before God. Our nighttime prayer this Thursday night, the 30th of April. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray, that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life and death. Psalm 104 I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, how excellent is your greatness. You appointed the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows the time for its setting. You make darkness that it may be night, in which all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The lions roar for their prey and seek their food from God. The sun rises, and they are gone, and lay themselves down in their dens. People go forth to their work, and to their labour until evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea spread far and wide, and there move creatures beyond number, both small and great. There go the ships, and there is that Levi Leviathan which you have made to play in the deep. All of these look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give it them, they gather it. You open your hand and they are filled with good. When you hide your face, they are troubled. When you take away their breath, they die and return again to the dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. Creator God, send your Holy Spirit to renew this living world that the whole creation, in its groaning and striving, may know your loving purpose and come to reflect your glory in Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Our scripture reading tonight is taken from Revelation chapter 22, verses 4 and 5. The servants of the Lamb shall see the face of God, whose name will be on their foreheads. There will be no more night. 
they will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun, for God will be their light and they will reign forever and ever. Into your hand, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God, of truth. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. A special prayer for tonight. Almighty Father, who in your great mercy gladdened the disciples with the sight of the risen Lord, give us such knowledge of his presence with us that we may be strengthened and sustained by his risen life and serve you continually in righteousness and truth. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. We just take a moment to think about all the things that we've done today. All our friends and family that we wish to pray for at this time. All those known to God And we ask that, Lord, bless us in our homes tonight. And we say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we lie down and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look to you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. May the risen Lord Jesus bless us. May he watch over us and renew us as he renews the whole of creation. May our hearts and lives echo his love. Amen. Oh,